Yeah. 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 How long was the uh, five years on the land? Too Maybe long. I'm, six, yeah. I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but there's no there's no through holes under the water line anymore. No. No. I but I just want to check in case there's cracks or something ah, like that. Okay. Yeah. Everything's above water though, yeah. yeah. At least where I think the water line is, I have no idea. <laughs> it used to have two 30 horsepower diesels inside, yeah, so it was a, yeah, yeah. a very different, uh, different boat. Here on this side, uh, yeah, more or less, yeah, Not here. yeah. And my wife's clothes are here. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. yeah, actually, this whole side is my wife's closet. <laughs> okay. you can go. Thank you. Well, um, the good news is the boat floats engines work. Uh, bad news is I don't have sails just yet. My foresail uh, needs to have uh, a little line that runs up the front uh, adjusted for a new type of uh, furlough I've got. And the mainsail needs the boom raised but um, I think I'll be happily motoring uh, for quite some time because uh, the batteries are full and when the sun's out I shouldn't be drawing any power. So it's been uh, pretty much a year's worth of hard work uh, to get to this point, um, but uh, as you can see, I am sailing and uh, leaving the marina and puller. Uh, let's see if I can flip the camera. But, uh, where's my camera? Flip. Can't flip it. I'll have to stop the video and flip it. Uh, leaving between this uh, island and uh, this point over there has been uh, something I've looked at on every single walk for a very long time and something that I've been very excited to do myself and uh, it's uh, one of those things hard to believe I'm actually doing it uh, but here we go At the moment I'm using about 600 watts and I'm doing about 5 kilometers an hour. Um, no desire to go any faster just yet, but uh, when I get into sort of open water I'll, I'll see because at the moment I'm not even using any power, the batteries are actually still charging while I'm going this way. Over. So I'm pulling um, 1.8 kilowatts of power at the moment and uh, according to my Battery meter, I'm actually not drawing any power from the batteries yet. And my speed is uh, just hovering around eight, seven, eight kilometers an hour, uh, four and a half knots. 1.8 kilowatts, four and a half knots, not drawing any power. Look at that beautiful blue water going past. So that's uh, two kilowatts of power. I've been doing mostly around five knots and uh, because it was cloudy just now my batteries are actually charging now that the sun has come back up I'm charging at about 300 watts so solar panels are doing their job So middle of the day and uh, I'm running one kilowatt in each motor and amazingly I'm still charging my batteries at 600 watts. Um, that probably means I'm producing somewhere around about 2.8 kilowatts of power at the moment because um, the fridge is running and that draws about 160 and I've got Starlink running on the front which is also providing some internet at about 50 watts um, but otherwise it's a beautiful day.
some uh, kayakers doing their looks like a cave tour. Actually, it's quite nice. If you're wondering what the beeping is, it's the AIS alert. It says we're very close to another boat, and as you can see, we are. Big wakes coming. A beautiful sail over yesterday. Um, last night we had a Bora come through and it has been howling all night. Firstly, <laughs> I mean, the boat, I don't know if you can see, is bouncing all over. All the other boats are. I'm on the wrong side of the pier. It's, uh, it's very unpleasant at the moment. Hopefully, it passes soon um, and then we can actually use the boat again. It's crazy how it's been. And that's about it. So we're quite happy in our new spot in the marina. We're going to be here for another couple of weeks just um, testing things, checking things out. But uh, basically, it looks like we can motor all day long at four and a half uh, knots and not use any of the battery, which means when we get to our destination, uh, we still have enough power to heat water, to uh, do some washing in the, the washing machine we've got. Uh, we can we cook electrically. We've been doing that for a long time now. Um, I don't know yet how much power these solar panels produce because um, the batteries have been full. Even on the day when when I motored 30 kilometers, the batteries have always been full by 10, 30, 11 o'clock. And uh, I produce over a kilowatt of power from basically from 8 a.m. until I'm still producing more than I need at the moment. You know, I think it's up until about nearly 7 8 p.m. it's uh, it's in quite incredible um, yeah don't need to pay for electricity don't need to buy any diesel uh, the boat just works it uh, works really well um, after we arrived the first night was a bit a uh, bit sketchy uh, we had some really big storms I might put a bit bit of a clip we had a, a bora come through and I'm quite exposed in, in the north yes so the boat was bouncing around quite a lot uh, but it was a good test of the solar panel mounts and everything stayed in place and nothing nothing went shaking around too much or flying around too much so so far uh, everything touch some wood somewhere is going according to plan so that's about it cheers and one last thing before i forget is um when i started this everyone was saying you need more battery power more battery power and I was always of the opinion that the batteries are not there to power the boat. The sun is there to power the boat. And the batteries are just a, a buffer for when you go through cloudy patches or little bits and pieces of uh, times where you can't charge. And that um, the boat is technically solar powered. And, uh, and it seems to work that way. It seems to be that um, if you have enough panels, you don't need a huge battery pack because you, you literally just don't draw on it. Um, Hopefully, I mean, the boat still moves fairly well at very low power, at 300 watts on each motor or 600 watts. It moves quite well. Uh, so that should be able to move me when uh, when there's no sun around. But when there's sun around, I, I don't touch the batteries. And in fact, I can, I can charge them while I'm motoring.